Hey everyone, it's Tash from HolisticHealthHerbalist.com and thank you so much for joining me. So today I wanted to show you guys how to make rose water because I am out and I really need some more and it just so happens that there are tons of beautiful roses growing out in the yard. Um, there's one in particular that smells so good and it's going to make some really amazing rose water. So I want to show you guys how I make it at home. So let's go. And this variety right here, oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. So all you have to do um, to make rose water is um, just smell the roses, literally. And the ones that smell the best are the ones you're going to want to use. So like these ones are so amazing. And you're just going to snip these off, collect the petals, and then we're going to get to making rose water. So I got a couple, and of course you might need more than this, but I already have some of these that I've been collecting for over the past few days. And we're just going to, ooh, some of the petals are falling off. Um, but we're just gonna use these, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so as you may have seen, there's a lot of different roses in the backyard, but honestly, these ones smell, I mean, way strong, way stronger than the other ones. Let me close this door. Okay. So, all you have to do when you pick your roses, and I got ones that were a little bit just like they were ready to fall off so I didn't feel so bad cutting them off because the other ones I might want to put you know on my dining table or or whatnot but I need rose water now so I'm just going to use these older roses that are about ready to fall off and you just want to kind of and I already kind of did this outside a little bit but you just want to check for bugs and stuff any debris of any kind and then you're just going to pluck the petals off and um, just kind of look through make sure you don't have anybody living in there and I have some others that I was drying on the table a little bit you don't have to dry them at all fresh is really better um, but I needed more petals so I had to wait so yeah just pick all of the petals off and then when you're done we're gonna put all of these in a pot and we're going to cover them with uh, filtered water and then we're gonna start boiling and I'll show you that process okay so I've put all of the rose petals I'm going to use into a small pot and now I'm just going to add some filtered water so I'm just using some bottled water so probably like one bottle of water and then you're just gonna put the lid on and you're going to turn the heat on and you're going to simmer it and I like to simmer it for about 20 minutes or at least until the color um, comes out of the petals completely so you'll notice when I open this lid again it's going to be a totally different color Okay, so now we can see after about 10 minutes or so um, that the rose petals are definitely um, more wilted. And if they're floating at the top, all you have to do is just use something to just poke them back into the water. And you can kind of see too how much color they're starting to lose. And if you look at the water, you can kind of see that it's turning like a pinkish kind of color and depending on what roses you use um, the color may be darker or lighter so if you're looking for like really um, like kind of reddish rosy colored rose water you would want to use red roses but since I'm using um, roses that are mostly white the rose water is going to be a very light color Okay, it's been another five minutes or so, and I think that's pretty good. So we're just going to, oops, there goes my timer. 
There we go, perfect timing. So now all I'm going to do is just, and it's probably more recommended to just let this cool off and then you're just going to strain it and then you're going to bottle it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and strain this and I have bowls that are safe to use um, with heat. So I already have a mesh strainer in the bowl and I'm just going to put that in there like so. And look at that. It's beautiful. Look how rosy that is. Even though I used rose petals that were mostly white, it still came out pretty pink, I would say. So I'm just gonna squeeze out the rest of the liquid from these rose petals. And then I'm just gonna let this cool off because the container I'm putting it in is not very heat resistant. So I'll be back when this is all cool and finished. Okay, so the rose water is all cooled off now. And all you have to do is pick the vessel you wanna put it in and I'm just gonna put it in a four ounce spritzer bottle. And I'm probably gonna make a mess. So you might need a bigger funnel than this one. And you're just going to fill it up. Uh, yes, very messy. Um, anyway, so you fill up the bottle and it is all ready to go. And this smells so good already. And what makes rose water so amazing, especially for people that have acne prone skin, is that it actually balances the pH of your skin back to its normal state, which I don't know of anything else that does that. So rose water is amazing. It's anti-aging, it's moisturizing, it's smoothing, um, it helps with clear skin. It's so great to use and I hope you guys try it out. Also, don't forget to check out my blog post below for how to make rose water, and it has all the steps, it has more information on how you can use rose water, how long it lasts, and you can also follow me on all my social media platforms as well. So I will talk to you guys later.